What's up? What's up? What's up? Yours truly checking in. Two chains, most expensive bitch. Now you guys know San Francisco is the most expensive place to live in America, right? But I bet you didn't know the home of the first Japanese American community was established here. Was so multicultural. Today on this episode, we will experience the timelessness of the traditional Japanese culture with a little tea ceremony. Yes. Oh, nice sounds. You like that sound? <laughs> so we're gonna link up with Miss Kiko as she shows us her kimonos. Kimono drip. Oh, you can't have this stuff? It's too expensive to buy it. This is the highlight, for real. The most expensive sumo rust. Jerry Rice is gonna be there, too, so. Oh, Jerry Rice? Jerry Rice is gonna watch sumo wrestling like this. What? Let's do it. Good job! Channel is on the most expensive, Japan Town. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. How Hi, you doing? Hello. Right, Welcome. How you doing? Welcome. Hey. Nice to I'm Larry. Kimika. Nice, nice to meet you, Kimika. Nice to meet you. Nice to Dude, let me get Please in make here. Please yourself comfortable. Yeah, I'm tall. Okay, I'm in here. Uh, let me see. Well, thanks for coming for tea. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. yeah. We usually bow at the end. Usually when we start the tea ceremony, we always serve the guests a sweet. I like, I like this. Yeah. And tell me more about this traditional thing. Like, real me and I'm, I'm totally. Well, tea actually, it's a very old art form. Tea came to Japan from China back probably the ninth century. Okay. And the samurai and the feudal lord, they actually did the tea ceremony, but also it was a way for them to show off their expensive utensils. Most important is that that Guess you and uh, I will join together making tea. If you'd like to start with a hot towel. Oh, well, yeah, I've had these before. Have you been to Japan? Uh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Would you like to try this sweet? That's right. And this so, is a very interesting, it's like a pancake wrapped around mochi. And this is a very old the, style Kyoto sweet. Help. It's called chofu, and chofu means a roll of silk. How, how you like it? It's okay. It's okay. That's good. It's okay. <laughs> What does this symbolize? The sweet? This whole ceremony. The tea master I trained with has an expression, uh, Ichiwan kata peacefulness, peacefulness through a bowl of tea. So if you serve a guest a bowl of tea with an open heart, that interaction between you and the guest hopefully will bring peace and it could spread all over the world, actually, if really? everybody has tea. So you said you had to, you had to learn this? You had to go to like I trained professionally six years in Kyoto, Japan. You went to Japan and trained on a wide range of things or just no, tea? No, tea ceremony. Just tea? Yeah. All the different tea ceremonies. How to cook the kaiseki meal. How to clean tea rooms, how to clean toilets. <laughs> so the tea master has to do everything. Yeah, yeah we had... in Japan has to do this stuff. You have to do <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah, it was very <laughs> severe training. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we have an expression, uh, ichigo ichie, one chance in a lifetime. So this moment will never happen again. I Normally like, for the I like this. So this moment will never happen again. Yeah. yeah. We usually bow at the end. Yeah. And no, then I'll we... Uh, start yeah, why don't you start? Come on, I'm ready. Tea. I'm ready, Kamika. <laughs> yes. Come on. So we invited guests. Kamika, and... you got a, you got kind of like a, like a little black name. So, I know a Kamika. Yeah, actually, Kimika. it's interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of Kamikas in San Francisco, but she's Kimika. Uh, Kimika. 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 OK. <laughs> We use the highest quality green tea. It's picked in May, and then it's steamed, and then dried, and then ground into a very fine powder. And this container, actually, it's made by a very famous lacquer in Japan, Mayahata Shunsai. It's about 1800 to 20. That little bowl right there? Listen to the sounds. Usually, we don't talk much during the tea. Tea will be nice and hot. You got to be, let it, let's just enjoy it. Yeah, just. Let's just enjoy it. Whisk. <laughs> you got that wrist me, hey me, you got that wrist me in the kitchen with me. True. Come on, I'm ready, Kamika. <laughs> Are you whipping? Yeah, how you like it? True. Now me, me, me whipping. 
whipping eggs, whipping that yam, whipping that work. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is for you. That's for me? Yes. Let me see if I can get a little bit of You can see. Why don't you give me a plug? I'm a little tall. Each one cut a peacefulness. Pure heart. It's for now only. True. That's it. That's straight green tea right there. And trying to slurp it? To slurp it? We, we, or we not to slurp it? No, to slurp it. Like, okay. yeah. A nice sound. You like that sound? <laughs> when I. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know now. I go to Japan, be walking down the street just <laughs> slurping. But not regular tea, only um, this matcha green tea we slurp. And noodles, ramen, and mm. do you like the ah, taste? We good, good, healthy. Feel like it do something for you. Yeah. Your masculinity you like side. I like it. I want. I feel a little energy already. Good. You're, yeah. you're good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The bowl you're drinking from, flaming jewels on the outside, probably be twenty-two to twenty-five hundred dollars. Got you. Well, this was the most expensive bitch Japan town. I'm blown away. So thank you guys for thank the experience. You. Do I? Do I? Yeah. Hey, we usually bow at the end. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tell the truth. Why do you have to put on so many kimonos? What's this? Obviously the gold. Gold. Mm, yes. You gotta have <laughs> Hi, Keiko. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting educated on the history behind kimonos, the celebration behind them. Because I wear kimonos for like fashion, but I know it has a much richer and deeper meaning. Yes, this kimono is for wedding. Oh, I just had a really nice wedding. <laughs> Could you show me how you would deck her out? Yes, kimono. I will show. This is halfway. You say this is halfway? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's hot? You hot? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start working on it. <laughs> now, why so many layers? How many does she have on? Three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do you put so many on? It takes time to, you know. Take it off. Take it off. So enjoy. Oh, you just leave the man. <laughs> that ain't cool. Did you hear that? I'm coming straight through there. Can you tell us why there's so many layers of kimono? You didn't hear her? <laughs> she said it's so many layers, so it takes long time to take off. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm like, that's a low, that's pretty low down if you ask me. Cause men be anxious, boy. They ain't got time to be taking off no 12, nothing. Well, tell the truth, why do you have to put on so many kimonos for the wedding? Why? I have no idea. <laughs> this is a traditional. <laughs> it's tradition. I got you, Miss Kaiko. See, kimonos have long been considered textile art. And just like with paintings, prices can vary based on age, rarity, condition, and aesthetics. The more textiles or layers you have, the more fancy your rich ass can get. So, if you want to be a true baller, you have to wrap yourself over and over and over and over again. Girl, you got six more kimonos to put on, so just don't think about nothing dealing with having to go to the bathroom. Waterfalls, rain, ocean. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. <laughs> you ever go out much, club? Club? No club? Just go to the club. OK. You down for real? Go to the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew she was on me too. Sure.
Is it cheaper to have this process done over here? It's much cheaper because in Japan, it costs like uh, 7,500 per hour. For renting? For renting, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can't have this stuff? It's too expensive to buy it. So how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? Only this one is 50,000. 50,000? Yeah, and oh. <laughs> this is all human hair. This all her hair? No, this is wig. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to ask women that. <laughs> In any culture, I don't think. I'm sorry. It looks just, it looks pretty on you. So how much does she have on before you put on this 50,000? How much? Well, 500, 700,000. Worth of clothes? Yeah. Shh. <laughs> your parents yeah. rich. What's your clothes, man? I shouted, what's up with you, shout? <laughs> shout, you kicking it. You got on a million dollars worth of clothes. If you have a wedding here, it's much cheaper. What are uh, we looking here, at? Here, it's going to be $750, and the labor is $750, something oh. like that. Big difference. Yeah, that's a, that's a wild difference. I was always curious. So the bow that you did, that's what gives it this this. Yeah, yeah, pole. yeah, that's right. Does that symbolize anything? That's just... Not really. When the last time y'all been to Japan? Y'all ain't been... Last month. Last month? Really? That's cool. <laughs> It's nice meeting you. Thank we'll see you. you at the club. Thank you. You don't talk much. <laughs> I'm an assistant. <laughs> and that's okay. Look, you already know what it is. Most expensive is Japan time. Standing next to a female who was wearing a married kimono that costs around seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Could you explain what the hell type of noodles I'm about to get myself into? All right, all right. What's up, what's up? How y'all doing? Hi. Two Chain. You too, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Chain. Nice, nice to, to meet, you. meet you, man. How you guys doing? Very good. All right, so this particular episode is called The Most Expensive Bitch Japan Town, right? We're in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. and I was under the impression that ramen noodles only costed a dollar. All right, I'm ready. They could go up to two hundred dollars. Why is it so expensive? Uh, all the time and effort we put into it, um, the ingredients we use premium duck to make duck. the soup. Yes. Um, two hundred dollars. Yes, two hundred dollars. People come and get two hundred dollars noodles on the regular. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, in the ghetto, we used to take ramen noodles and we used to put all kind of stuff on. Salt, pepper, hot sauce. We used to cut up some meat in it. You know what I'm saying? But I see now you got something else like for a more higher taste level. Mm -hmm. Is it the same process here? Is it, is it a quick process or? It is uh, very similar. Uh, the noodles get cooked in two minutes. It's very quick. Oh, oh it's based off noodles? Uh, yes, we're from Japan. Could you explain what the hell type of noodles I'm about to get myself into? Yeah, sure. All right, let's get it started. All right, yeah. this is our special recipe. Why they look different from the, the ramen noodles in the pack? Before we uh, prepare them, we kind of need them. What, where you get, where, you, where noodles come from? Uh, yes, we're from Japan. Oh. Yes. What's this? Uni, a sea urchin. Somebody Google uni, make sure I can eat this. What's this? A different kind of uni. Somebody Google uni, what's that? This is our uh, salt-based sauce. What is this again? That's a seaweed, it's a nori. What's this? Obviously the gold. Gold, mm, yes. you gotta have the gold. <laughs> What's this? Beluga caviar. Okay. $200. Yes. What's this? Zuaigani crab, it's from Japan. And That's truffle. That is. That I is recognize this. truffle. Mm -hmm. So far, I can do everything y'all showed me so far. Tired of people complaining, you can't come up with no hustle. If you can make ramen noodles cost 200 bucks, what's next? White bread? Done. Yes, that's ready. <laughs> what's this big old spoon for? That's our uh, special spoon, actually. I can, I can use this to eat with, yes, right? Yes, so the intent of that big spoon is you, when you take the, the noodles. Oh, well, it's based off noodles. Yes, we're from Japan. Oh, I so. Take the soup and the noodle. Get up in there. This bowl right here, $200. 
200 bucks. Yes. Hey, so. Hey, how many bowls you sell it there? How many? You have to fix it up. I think one or three bowls. Hello. Yeah. We slur. That's good. That's good work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno. Just the